Just imagine, while studying in the library, you see a girl dressed as a bunny, which is only seen by you. Thus, the two become friends and begin to fall in love with each other, in search of reversing this mysterious situation. I'm Lancelot and in today's anime recap we'll watch Bunny Girl. The story begins with the protagonist Sakuta in the school library, until a girl passes by him dressed as a naughty bunny and, amazingly, only he can see her. Her name is Mai and she is one year older than him, moreover, she was a famous actress in her childhood, which suddenly stopped her career. The next day, going to school, the protagonist talks to Yuma, his best friend, about the girl being always alone. His friend says he is happy to see Sakuta getting interested in another girl besides Makinohara Shoko. Until his girlfriend, who doesn't seem to like the protagonist, appears and pulls him to walk with her. He found out that Mai barely showed up at school since the beginning of first year because of work. Which also explains the reason for being isolated like that, because the groups have already been formed and she didn't fit into them. While eating bread, her friend's girlfriend went to talk to him, telling the protagonist to stop talking to Yuma. Well, Sakuta was involved in an incident, which made people turn away from him and with that his boyfriend may lose his popularity. However, the protagonist doesn't give a shit about her, asking if the girl was this angry because of PMS. Returning home, while at the train station, a couple tried to take pictures of Mai without her permission, however, getting in front of Sakuta stopped them. And seeing what he did, the girl thanked him and inside the train they talked about what happened the day before. But she doesn't want to talk about it and cites the incident where he sent three colleagues to the hospital. She found this out by searching with her cell phone and asking him if he had never seen such news, Sakuta says no, as he does not own a cell phone. Mai says he shouldn't have friends, but the protagonist quickly replies that he has two, saying that's more than enough. Returning to the previous subject, the girl talks about her explosive success when she was younger and that at first it was fun, but the more time passed, the more tiring it got. Making her want to live in a world where no one knew who she was and one day, when she went to an aquarium, she realized that she had become some kind of ghost. Yeah, people couldn't see her or hear her, but on returning home everything was back to normal. So, she went out and investigated, which explains the bunny outfit, since dressed like that she would be noticed. As they walked together, the mysterious phenomenon started to happen again, with her needing the protagonist to buy a cream bun. Leaving the station, the protagonist says that this crazy story could be called adolescence syndrome. Where several unexplained things start to happen and are usually called that. He and Mai enter his house and in his room, Sakuda takes off his shirt, showing a giant scar on his chest, which even he doesn't know how it happened. Showing a picture of his injured sister, the protagonist says that she wasn't attacked or anything like that. Just got bullied on the internet, her class leader started hating her and posted several insults in a group on a social network. Until one day, without any explanation, several wounds began to appear on her body, so now she studies at home. Also, that same time was when this wound happened on her chest, one day when she woke up, he was covered in blood and was taken to the hospital. Kaide, his sister, enters the room, getting embarrassed by the situation and leaving. Staying away from the internet made their situation better and that's why the protagonist threw his cell phone into the sea. Sakuta says that she should go back to the art world, because if she gets attention on TV, people won't be able to ignore her anymore. However, because he insinuated that deep down she wanted to be an actress again, Mai gets annoyed and leaves. At school, when searching for her name on the internet, he could not find the reason for the girl to have paused her career, however, he did not find the real reason. At work, he met Fumika, a reporter he already knew. She did stories about what happened to the protagonist in the past. And there at the restaurant, she asked again to talk about this story and take a picture of her chest. However, ignoring this, Sakuta asks what she knows about Mai. The scene cuts and we see him talking to Ryo, his other friend, who is very intelligent and that's why he asks about Mai's situation. Returning home with a cream bun, he sees Mai sitting in the doorway of his house, complaining that more people have stopped seeing her. Because of this, she has not been able to buy things to eat, so he goes to the market to help her. 
where they test a theory, because, when touching a carrot, it makes the vegetable disappear too, however, trying to do the same with the protagonist, it does not happen. Returning home, Sakuda demonstrates that he knows why she stopped acting and for throwing what happened in her face gets a slap in the face. When he was in elementary school, his mother, who was his manager, only thought of ways to make money off her daughter. So, against her will, she made Mai pose for a bikini photo shoot. However, Sakuda encourages her, as he knows that she enjoys working in the art world and shouldn't let her douchebag mother ruin that. Asking who told him this, Mai discovers that he let the reporter take a picture of her chest for the information. So, worried about several people making his and Kaide's lives hell with the TV behind them, Mai calls the reporter and in exchange for not putting the image on TV, promises a big exclusive news about her career return. Returning home, we discover that she lives in the building next to his and they have arranged to go out together on Sunday. The day has arrived and going to the marked place, Sakuda sees a child crying and when trying to help him, he is kicked in the ass. However, after the girl who made it understood that she was wrong, she told him to do the same, which without any regret did the same as her. But because a guard saw this, he took the two to lecture them and running late he found Mai and together they took the train. Where Mai asks about their parents and he explains that they are separated and her mother couldn't stand what Kaide was going through, getting sick and having to be taken care of by his father, leaving the two of them to live alone. The protagonist reveals that only one person believed in him, her name is Makinohara Shoko, he met her when he was in the ninth grade and she was in the second year of high school. Wearing the uniform of the school they attend today, however, no matter how hard he looked, he couldn't find her in the school's records. Suddenly, something strange happens, Mai's mother appears. The protagonist argues with the woman, getting very angry that even she has forgotten her beloved, but very sad about this situation, Mai stops him. After that, he started asking several people if they knew Mai, but even the reporter didn't remember her anymore. She intended to give up everything and accepted that everyone would not remember her anymore, however, the protagonist revealed that he loves her and that he will not surrender. So, together they sleep in a hotel room and while she is taking a shower, he calls her friend, who says he remembers Mai. And also calling Ryo, he explains the situation and asks her to find a solution, which he says is impossible, but he would try. They sleep in the same bed, where the protagonist promises that he will never forget her and Mai thanks him for telling her not to give up. The next morning, again people couldn't see her and at school we saw that only he and Ryo could. In the laboratory, she asks if he slept that night and they realize that neither of them did that, which could be the reason they still remember Mai and come to the conclusion that if they sleep, they also forgot about her. The next day they talk about it again and the protagonist does everything not to sleep, filling himself with coffee and energy drinks. When talking to Ryo after a few days, he realizes that the girl slept and doesn't remember anymore. Seeing the state that Sakuda was in, Mai decided to act and went to his house with the pretext of helping him study for the exams. But by putting some medicine in his drink, she puts the protagonist to sleep. The next day, he wakes up no longer remembering her and when reading her diary, he realizes that there was a name erased in it. At school, Ryo found a note in the middle of his books, with a note telling him to deliver it to Sakuda. Which says that her disappearance is based on the unconscious ignorance of the students, so it was enough to create a reason for existence that overcomes this, that is, to make his love overcome the ignorance of the students of the school. So, taking a test, he remembers everything and runs as fast as he can outside the school. There, he shouts for all to hear that he loves Mai and wants to be with her forever. In addition to all this statement, she appears saying that no one should speak ill of him, because everything that had happened in the past was a lie. So, with the power of his love, the protagonist managed to make Mai again seen and remembered by everyone. The 27th of June arrived, when he left his room he saw on the news that the Japanese team had won a match. At school, he had lunch with Mai, who ignored his dating request and talked about a new role he will have in a soap opera involving a kissing scene. He got jealous and she revealed it to be a lie and, insisting a little more, she accepted to be the protagonist's girlfriend. However, the next day, when he woke up very happy, 
he saw the same news about football in the newspaper and that it was June 27th again. Trying to ignore it, he went to school again and everything happened the same as the day before, with practically nothing changing. So, during lunch, he asked Mai to be his girlfriend, which even with a charm he accepted. Going down the stairs, he saw a boy asking a girl to marry him and continued his day, until when he woke up, he realized that it was still June 27th. Finding this situation strange, the protagonist went to talk to Futaba, who told him her theory, that someone is the key to this problem and if she finds him, maybe everything will go back to normal. Thus, he began to find someone who was behaving differently the times he was in the loop. Going to the room where he would have lunch with Mai, Sakuta ended up finding the person, the girl he had been asked to date. Her name is Tomo and she was the same girl the protagonist kicked ass for revenge. Trying to understand what happened, he asks her some questions and when a boy was about to enter the room, they hid. She said that that boy is into her, but a friend likes him, so she doesn't want to date him and speaking too loudly, he came back, seeing her together with Sakuta. By the way, he wasn't the only one who saw this, Mai was also entering the room, getting totally pissed off and when he tried to explain himself, he gave up, understanding that the next day he would have a chance to fix this. However, what he least expected happened, the next day has arrived and he will have to explain himself to Mai. Arriving at school, he tried to talk to Tomo, however, she hadn't come and talking to Futaba, he noticed that the girl was upset. She likes Kunimi but he has a girlfriend and she doesn't want to ruin their friendship. At work, Sakuda and his friend have gained a colleague, Tomo, who will be the new waitress. The protagonist attended to her friends, who started asking him some strange questions. Leaving there, Tomo went to make a request and was quickly denied, Sakuda understood that she let the rumor that the two were dating spread so she wouldn't have to reject the other boy. She asked him to continue this lie until the end of the first semester, so that they could finish the summer vacation and everything would continue as before. Tomo kept insisting and told him that she only had those three as friends and what she was most afraid of was being alone. Remembering the suffering his sister had, the protagonist decided to accept continuing with the lie and while taking a shower, he thought about how to tell this story to Mai. When leaving the bathroom, at the front door, his beloved was waiting for him wanting an explanation. In her room, the protagonist told her the whole situation and Mai accepted, saying that he would spend the week away recording his soap opera and handed him some clothes for his little sister. Kaide tried on her new outfit and was very happy receiving a present from her sister-in-law. Getting ready for work the next day, Sakuda got information about the boy Tomo wants to avoid and Kunimi revealed that he is an asshole. At the train station for a date, she tries to get the protagonist's number, however, to her dismay, he doesn't have a cell phone. They went to an aquarium and had a lot of fun until later they talked, where she revealed about her past, that she was bullied and before moving to his school, she changed her look and even her way of speaking. They ended up finding a colleague of hers, who had lost something and the two helped her find it, even though Tomo got wet. Because of that, she ended up with a cold and the next day the protagonist went to the infirmary to help her. And as more days passed, they became closer and closer friends. Mai returned and called Sakuda, who was super happy as always. Futaba and the protagonist talk about Tomo and think that the days are going on because she is satisfied with them. Leaving there, Kunimi's girlfriend talked to Sakuta alone, she doesn't like him and wants to know what her boyfriend's relationship with Futaba is, however, the protagonist didn't say anything and told her to talk to Kunimi. At work, the protagonist talked to his best friend, who revealed something bad. He heard rumors about Tomo, from people calling her easy, and the protagonist understood who was to blame. The next day, seeing that the situation had worsened, Sakuda decided to act, getting punched in the face, but recovered and stepped on the asshole's face. In fact, he decided to squash the rumors once and for all, screaming for everyone to hear that he's still a virgin and running off with her. In his room, the protagonist talked about the future with Mai, who wants to help him improve his grades and, for that, is willing to teach him dressed as a bunny. They talk some more and the class ends with Mai pinching his cheek after Sakuda tells her he loves her. After school, at a cafe, Tomo and he talked about what their breakup story will be and the girl seemed distant about it. 
the last day of school, before the holidays, arrived and he was happy that this farce was coming to an end. The two went to the beach together, where they had a lot of fun and at the end of the day, she thanked him for everything he did, ending the relationship with a handshake. However, the protagonist's nightmare returned, he was back in the day he had just lived. Arriving at school, Sakuda went to talk to her, who said she didn't understand what he was saying and that it was her first time that day. After class they repeated exactly the same things until the fourth time, the protagonist decided to change what they were going to do, taking her to another place. Sakuda told Tomo to stop lying and told him that even continuing with this loop, his feelings for her would not change, because the person he loves is Mai. Thus, she releases all her feelings that were kept and reveals that she loves him too much, crying a lot. Upon waking up, Sakuda realizes that he is not on his summer vacation but has returned to the 27th of June. At school, the protagonist got what he wanted so much, becoming Mai's boyfriend, getting a kiss on his cheek. Leaving for lunch with his beloved, he saw Tomo dumping the asshole boy and as they talked they decided that they would remain friends. In this way, things returned to normal and as usual, the protagonist told everything to his scientist friend. Also, trying to understand what connected the two, they came to the conclusion that it could be the event that they kicked each other's ass and asked to try this theory with him, but the protagonist denied it. Leaving school in the rain, Sakuda and Mai meet a little girl seeing a kitten in a box, which she wants to adopt, but she can't take it home right now. In this way, the protagonist said that she would take care of him and one more scary thing happened, her name is Makinohara Shoko. They took the cat to the protagonist's house, naming it Hayate, in fact, they let the girl visit him whenever she wants. The protagonist found Futaba in a library and told him that he met Makinohara, however, this time she was a little girl. She was different than usual and said that his case was not a problem as there are many similar people in the world. At work, Mai dropped by to see her boyfriend and apologized for being so busy and not having time for them. He forgave her and said he would love to have compensation for it. Going home together, they found Futaba entering an internet cafe and upon entering there, they called the girl, who answered saying she was home. However, they saw that the girl was there too. She explained that there are now two of hers and that the faker is causing problems by living in her house. Thus, Sakuda asks Mai to let her sleep at his house, and she only accepts if she stays there too. While she was taking a shower, they talked about the situation and came to the conclusion that the two have different personalities. During the night, Mai went to the room to see the protagonist, who asked for her compensation, a kiss, but when she went to do that, she ended up bumping her forehead against hers, losing her chance. The next day, Sakuda tried to find Futaba in the lab, however, the girl was on the court watching Kunimi play basketball. Finding her, the protagonist asked why she fell in love with their friend. So, she told him the day he bought her lunch and basically, that was it. Sakuda revealed that right now, she is at his house and also, said that he believes that both are the, real one. At the protagonist's house, Futaba was teaching the little girls to study, until Mai's cell phone rang and Kaide's face changed at the time, it was her manager, who was shocked to learn that she was dating. Sakuda called his house wanting to know how they were doing and Mai told him that they needed to talk about something and when he hung up, Kunimi's girlfriend showed him something bad. Again talking to Futaba in the bathroom, the protagonist discovers that she made that account before summer vacation, as she wanted someone's attention. She is regretful about this, but as the other keeps posting more pictures, Sakuda decided that she would talk to her. While talking to Mai, he got some sad news her agency wants the girl to hide their relationship. She didn't answer them about it, but Sakuda said that the best thing they can do right now is a strategic retreat, even though it makes him sad not being able to see her. Finding Futaba at the train station, both talk about her situation, but not reaching any conclusion, she returned home and in the following days there was still no result. While waiting for a train together, she started to receive some strange messages from someone asking to meet her. In this way, she asks him to delete the account and they go to her house together and, at the girl's request, 
spend the night there. They talk and she talks about the fear she has of him and Kunimi abandoning her, however, to prove that this would not happen, he sent a message to his friend in the middle of the night. Speaking that Futaba was in trouble, Kunimi arrived as soon as possible and upon seeing this, Futaba burst into tears of happiness. They bought some fireworks and had fun together on the beach. In addition, they agreed that next week at the festival they will have, they will see the fireworks together. Being well with herself, she hands her cell phone to the protagonist and asks him to take care of her other half. Having spent the night awake, the protagonist went to sleep and Futaba got scared when she saw the photo that was on her cell phone lock. Waking up, Kaide told her brother that the girl left for the market shortly after he arrived and still hadn't returned. He tries to call, but the girl had left her cell phone in the room, so, worried, Sakuda got on his bike and went looking for her in the middle of a storm. Getting information from the other half, he went to the school, where he found her. She plans to disappear, saying the world doesn't need two of them. Futaba was feeling excluded, thinking they didn't need her, however, the protagonist told her to be quiet and meet him at the station on the 19th. Suddenly, the protagonist ends up fainting and wakes up inside the hospital, next to Mai. Going to the reception, he and Futaba make up, so the girl goes to the phone and calls her other half, saying that she wants to go with them to see the fireworks. Thus, she disappears and the protagonist picks up the phone, discovering that the two were once again one. The day of the fireworks arrived and the three friends went together as promised, where she said something to Kunimi and asked him not to answer, because she didn't want to know the answer. The time that Sakuta and Mai had to stay away from each other ended, however, he hadn't seen her at school. Walking down the street, he saw his girlfriend, but the moment he went to talk to her, the girl asked who he was. Showing us that the protagonist's life will never have peace. In reality, who was in her body was Nadoka, Mai's younger sister, who switched bodies with her. Nadoka is a Japanese idol and in reality they are half-sisters and the girl had appeared at Mai's house the night before and after they woke up, they were like that. The girl was in shock, while the two were super calm, as this is not the first time that strange things have happened to them. Not knowing how to reverse this, they agree that they will have to act like each other until everything returns to normal. While going to school, we found out that like her older sister, Nadoka doesn't have any friends. By the way, their mothers hate each other and the youngest is in this entertainment world just because Mai is too. Talking to Futaba about this situation, she says that this could be due to the youngest being jealous and wanting to be Mai. Sakuta takes Nadoka to the beach, where he talks to the girl and asks if she hated Mai, understanding that he wasn't so wrong. Mai appears and Nadoka talks about everything she felt about her, the pressure they put on for not being as good as her sister and the way her mother treated her when she was the only one in the art world. Basically, she's blaming Mai for returning and making her shadow her again. So she says she hates her and instantly, Mai says she didn't like her either. Sakuda takes his beloved to her house, where she will sleep there, so as not to be in the same place as her sister. After getting out of the shower, the protagonist talks to Mai, asking why she was so ignorant with her little sister. In the following days, they continued their efforts to maintain their disguises, until when he was at work, Sakuda received a visit from his girlfriend. He talks about Nadoka, saying that she is trying her best to do everything right and asked for some advice to pass on to her about acting, even though she couldn't get any. The day of recording the commercial arrived and the protagonist went along to see if everything was okay. However, she was very nervous and not being able to breathe properly, she ended up passing out. While Mai was running, she found Sakuda and he told her what happened, that because of her fainting, the recordings were postponed. Talking to Kunimi, he wanted to know what it was like to have an older sister who did everything and luckily, his friend's girlfriend knows very well about that. She knows what it's like to feel that way about her older sister being super smart and having passed first at the best public university in Japan. After a brief conversation, he understands her feelings a little and on his way home he meets Mai, who gives him a spare key to her house. So he went straight there to see how Nadoka was doing, with a single warning not to mess with a certain locker. Arriving there, he saw that everything was a mess and the girl hadn't eaten anything since the day before. 
Thus, he sent her to the bath and even after the warning, he opened the closet, finding a yellow box. Returning home, Mai asked the reason for the delay and he replied that he had to clean everything, cook and ask them to make up soon. The day before the reshoot, Sakuda saw a horror movie with Nadoka, which she got scared of and asked him to stay there until her bath was over. Trickster is always said he would only do that if he could get in together and her answer was unexpected, saying that if Mai let him he could, but as always it was just his joke. Arriving home, Kaide was strange and in fact, she was dressed in her school uniform, as she wants to try harder to return to society. The day of the recording arrived and this time it went well, with only 12 attempts. While the two were talking, Mai called the protagonist, letting him know that her father had called and that she wanted to see him. After talking so much about her family, Nadoka asks the protagonist about his, and the fact that his sister has developed adolescent syndrome and his mother has not been able to accept this, being hospitalized. Therefore, her father took care of her, while he would live with Kaide elsewhere. As they were talking about this, Nadoka's mother appeared and ended up arguing with her, as she thinks she is Mai and wants her daughter to come home. The scene cuts and we see that Sakuda has met with his father, who tells him that his mother is better and even though they are in a bad situation, it doesn't seem that there is any bad blood between them. The day of the concert arrived and the protagonist was there along with Nadoka in disguise, who was extremely impressed with how well Mai was doing. At the end of the show, it was announced who would be the main idol of the next single and to their surprise, Mai managed what Nadoka had not, she was chosen. This was difficult for her, seeing that her mother was happy as she had never been and the person behind it was her sister and not her. They went to the beach and the girl wanted to go out to sea, however, she was stopped by Sakuda, where they argue and the protagonist reveals that her sister loves her. To prove it, he takes her back to the house, where he shows her what's inside the yellow box. There were all the letters and gifts that she had sent to her sister and to complete it, Mai appears and reveals that she has always loved her. However, Nadoka still hadn't accepted that and while saying some selfish things, Mai slapped Sakuda across the face. Yes, she hit him instead of slapping her own body, as she has a photo shoot the next day. In this way, they resolve themselves and while hugging each other, they return to their bodies, to the joy of the protagonist. A few days later, he went to visit his girlfriend and found Nadoka guarding some boxes. Apparently, she once again fell out with her mother and will now live with her sister. Suddenly, Mai needed to answer her phone and the news she received was not the best, their relationship was discovered by the media. Holding a press conference, Mai resolves the situation, managing to publicize the new film she will make and making the director happy for the free publicity. Also, seeing how nice she was, Kaide decided to write down her goals for living in society again in a notebook. The couple talks and are happy that everything has been resolved, however, when looking at his correspondence, Sakuda sees a letter from Makinohara sending him to the beach the next day, and when he calls the girl, he discovers that it is not her, that is, he must be the same one who found him in the past. The next day, the protagonist talked to Futaba about it and revealed that he still hasn't told Mai anything. By the way, while they were talking, the scientist told her everything through a message and the girl appeared in the laboratory, asking only that he return home by 6 pm. So, seeing how understanding his girlfriend is, he opened the window and shouted to everyone that he loves her. Leaving school, a girl approached him, saying she was Kaide's childhood friend and to talk to her, he asked Mai to go to the beach instead of her. In a cafeteria, she revealed that the girls who mistreated his sister began to suffer several threats at school and therefore stopped studying there. She was sorry that she couldn't do anything for Kaide and asked to see her sometime. The protagonist went to the beach and Mai was alone, with the sun already setting, he decided to leave a message saying that he now has a girlfriend. At home, Kaide showed her notebook to her brother, with her goals for the year all of which involved Sakuda, except answering a phone call from someone other than him and going to school. He thinks they are too objective, because there are only two and a half years left until the end of the year and to help her, he has the idea of putting an item that makes her really want to leave the house, go to the zoo to see pandas. After dinner, Mai also sees the goals and to help, calls their house with her cell phone, where Kaide answered and completed one of the goals, even though she felt sick. 
Going to her room, Sakuta sees something strange about her little sister, a spot on her neck. The next day, upon returning from her work, Kaide showed the protagonist yet another plan to get out of the house and earning several new clothes from Mai, she put it into practice. So, getting ready and going to the front door, she grabbed her brother's back and slowly went outside and even giving up halfway through, she managed and cried with happiness. In the following days, she began to leave little by little, reaching the door of the condominium. And after that, things were easier, with her getting to have dinner at Mai's house and playing with him in the park. Together, they had a picnic on the beach and when looking for the ball she was playing with Sakuda, Kaide's school friend appeared, however, she says she doesn't know her. Then, Sakuda reveals the sad reason for this, after everything that happened to her sister, she lost her memory. In the past, after the things she suffered, when he entered her room, she didn't recognize him and that's why they went to the hospital, where they couldn't do anything for her. Little by little, the protagonist tried to get closer to his sister, realizing that her way of acting had completely changed, becoming a different person. One day, when he got home, he saw some spots on his sister and when he went to talk to his mother about it, he realized that she was not well at all. Also, while sleeping in his bed, something sinister happened, he woke up with a lot of pain in his chest and three giant cuts appeared. Regardless of what he said, no one believed him, until he decided to escape from the hospital and went to the beach, where he found Makinohara. Unlike the others, she believed everything he said, the boy kept running away from the hospital from time to time and she was always there to talk to him. After being discharged, he bought Kaide a diary and pen, asking her to start writing her name in hiragana to differentiate her from the other Kaide, as they were different people. So he apologizes and she cries with joy that her brother can understand her. Returning to the present, the next day, his sister was in pain in her body from having played a lot, until he gave her a book that the former Kaide had lent to her friend, who, when reading a note inside, remembered something and fainted. Taking her to the hospital with her father, the doctor says that maybe there will be some change in her memory, however, when she woke up, she was as usual. Talking to Mai over the phone, he reveals that her sister can get her memories back and Kaide overhears everything, deciding that she would like to go to high school. The next day, Sakuda talks to his father and tells him that Kaide wants to go back to school, who will arrange this and explain her situation to the school. A few days later, the school guidance counselor came by to talk to them and they agreed that she would start by going to the nurse's office, as going to school would also be considered. In the first attempt, she cannot reach the place and in the second, he saw that stain reappearing and tried to make her go back to rest, but the girl ran away. She thinks that the old Kaide will come back and she won't have time to complete her goals anymore, that's why she is trying so hard. Seeing other girls, she is unable to go further, so the protagonist takes her to another location, the zoo, where they see pandas and various other animals. On the way out, he bought her an annual passport to the zoo, so he could go whenever he wanted. Returning to the house, Sakuda deceives his sister, saying that they took a shortcut, however, they went to her school. Jumping the gate, they go in there, look at her room and she completes her goals, even leaving school almost, because she still wants to go during the day. However, when she woke up the next day, Kaide was no longer the usual Kaide, her sister's memory returned. Taking her to the hospital, the doctor said she wouldn't remember anything from the period she lost her memory and they kept her hospitalized for observation. Their father cried with joy when he saw that his little girl had returned, while the protagonist left the hospital crying in despair for having lost his little sister, who did not have the chance to go to school as she wanted and the scar on her chest opened again, until Makinohara appeared. She takes him home and puts him in the bathtub and reads Kaide's diary, where all her feelings were and shows how much she loved him, which she cried until she couldn't take it anymore. The next day, he called Mai and told her what happened, but he didn't reveal her sadness. For the rest of the day, Sakuda stayed with his sister and talked the other day with Futaba. He tried to understand what Makinohara's existence was, because he tried to call the little girl and no one answered. During the night, Mai came to visit her boyfriend and saw the note that the girl had left for him on the table. Thus, she left feeling sad that Sakuda didn't tell her the truth. Leaving work, Nadoka went to visit him, 
where he lectured him and said that today was Mai's birthday, so the protagonist took the bike and went as quickly as possible to the bullet train. When she found her, they stopped at a location and talked about their relationship. She explained why she was sad and the two hit it off. In fact, when they were about to kiss, Mai pinched his cheek and everything went back to normal. Furthermore, he introduced Mai to his family and handed Kaide his diary of the time she was without memory, when she decided that she would go back to school. Well folks, that was the summary of the first season of Bunny Girl. It has not yet released the second season, which has already been confirmed and has no date for the premiere. By the way, a movie was released with a bit of the continuation of the story and if you want me to bring it, leave it here in the comments and enjoy the video. Hope all is well with you, until next time.